it didn't die once. So it's 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 a good goalpost to aim for. You know, kill the Naga Siren at least once, and then things should look, should look a little bit better than they did in that game one. But let's get into it. We are now starting off with the grand finals of Nygma Galaxy versus PSG Quest here in the MENA region. Close qualifiers for Dream League season 23. And Nygma Galaxy do it. Can they break the order of the region, the natural order of first, second, third, or is it going to be PSG Quest just giving us an example of why they are the better team once again, as they did do earlier on in these qualifiers against Nygma Galaxy? Nygma really kind of huddled together under their tier one tower at the moment, respecting the PSG Quest aggression and potential here. For a bit of invasion, and now they're going to go for a bit of a fight themselves. Finding tier 2000 might be a bit of a stretch, but they do now see her on the ward. It's a really awkward level 1 fight for Nigma Galaxy, though. Like, I, 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 even even if they're all here, I just don't think they kill, I don't think they kill anyone. Depends on how far they are from the tower, right? If you've got enough time to chase them down, it's looking pretty good. They have the vision on tier 2000. Yeah. Oh, okay. Another blast misses. Blood oh, grenade cool. connects. Right clicks oh. coming on through, but I don't yeah, quite don't they have enough right clicks. Matthew trying to finish the job. The right clicks, it's not enough. TA2000 lives. Oh, they got the perfect wraparound, but again, their heroes at level one are just complete garbage. So unfortunately, <laughs> you can't turn that into a kill. Very awkward start for Nigma Galaxy, but uh, nevertheless, sending TA2000 back to base, forcing a TP, like. Still a bit of a win, and over in the jungle, Miracle, he's getting caught out by the three men of PSG Quest. Crow trying to fight up into Omar yeah, here, fairy. trying to get the return kill, but the stick is there. Right click coming through, but there's a route from Ducalis, and it's going to be two kills going the way of PSG Quest to start off this game. I mean, it's such a violent difference in level one potential between these two drafts, like... But it's because Kroki leveled Starfall, right? Like, your, your Starstorm, sorry, you're making this wraparound play, you have a really beautiful ward, uh, Kroki does actually not get the kill, but it's because his damage was the last damage before he died, so it goes to Kroki, kill, yeah. but he wasn't there to get it. Anyway, like, you're going for this play, but he's already pre-leveled. If he had the arrow, a Lucent Beam into the arrow, the Naga had already used Illusions prior, so a little bit of a mislevel or a, a, you know, early leveling there from the Marana prevented the first blood. Of course, in laning phase, I don't want to start with Starstorm, but when you go for that play, you, you need to make the choice, and because of... No arrow, equal no kill, equal two kills PSG quest. That's so a, an job. equation. Thank you. Over in the top side, we got tier 2000 on the Naga Siren with Ducalis on the Crystal Maiden, leaning into FBZ and Matthew. Doom Pugna seems pretty stable to me. I feel like we shouldn't see too much action happening here. Maybe FBZ gets overzealous with the Scorched Earth and gets chopped up, but I imagine they're probably just going to trade up farm up here. Yeah, incredible uh, trader farm. That is a very no kill lane in the top. Bot lane is a different story, of course. If the if the Marana steps off away too far and Miracles by himself, one disruption into a dragon tail, blood grenade on top, that will most likely net a kill. I'm expecting action to be happening bottom, mid to be a trader farm, and top equally a trader farm. And already they are using the, those motions, right? To shock the lunar up, get her own illusions, body block as well from Amar. Ooh, nice micro there. Omar. Yeah, he's, he's playing with Miracle just a little bit. Getting a little extra bit, a little bit of damage off. But the DK did also take a fair amount of clicking during that process. Kuro just the whole time clicking away, getting off his damage. We didn't really talk about it, but they picked Luna into Shadow Demon, which is always a, a matchup that you have to respect. It forces Luna to think about, hmm, do I want to go Butterfly? If I do, then now SD can take illusions of my my Lunar and throw them at my team. I can't kill them myself because I won't have an MKB. Yet, so it always forces these these Achi carries to, to second guess how many stat items they want to buy. We'll see how Miracle navigates that problem throughout the game. Yeah, for now. After the bounty rune shenanigans, we have kind of just sat back into a nice little farm state from both teams. But here's a stat no one talks about. Because mm. they're just not smart enough to bring it up unlike us. The Lotus yep. difference. It's going Nygma Galaxy's favor right now. Matthew Whoa. has a Lotus. Bro just gave his Lotus over towards Miracle. Like, you think there's some really dumb stat where it's like 
the first two lotuses correlate to some really dumb win rate or something. I'm sure if you, you so. check that. Yeah, I feel like you almost the first definitely two not, but... directly <laughs> linked to winning or again it's maybe like, bluntly, it's a I'd say it's like stat, maybe fifty five percent across all like pro games. Maybe so higher, saying actually. taking both of the first lotuses equals fifty five percent win rate. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll see if I we can, can see you know, cook up some answers for that uh, in like oh, a month's yeah. time. <laughs> It'll take a little bit. Yeah. Because it it suggests better positioning in lane, better kind of meta laning, better understanding. Mm. Maybe it's more. Maybe it's higher. Maybe it's hundred percent. Maybe maybe Galaxy just won the game. We'll find out later. Either way. Low laning phase, hence why we're going insane. But uh, Malik with the double bracer, triple iron branch build. He's pretty beefed up right now. Not to mention the Belder strength coming in the courier, bro. Goes for the range creep instead. Wants to secure that one. I wonder if we'll see. I mean, it, it looks like both supports are pretty locked into their lanes right now. So in terms of going out and making stacks, might be a little bit difficult. Uh, Omar's trying here with the double ancient stack. Did he pull this off? Oh, he does. Well, only on the left side, actually. Didn't get the double. Never mind. I'm dead. It's okay, Nomad. They are jumping Luna, though, in the meantime. Yeah, also getting stick, jumped though. by Kuro as well. Kuro trying to get the return kill. Might just be able to finish the job, but now Luna, two points of Shadow Poison. Might not be enough to bring it down, especially with the stick and the Lotus available. So, very cool, just waiting to get that salve on him. And uh, it's going to be a nice trade for Nygma down on the bottom side. Being all over towards mid, rotation coming in from Ducalis as the supports start to gather for that minute six rune. Yeah, there is no vision right now for Sumo. So the they, they have the coil. Oh, he's level six, but the coil is there. He can't do anything about it. This is just a death. Matthew Ingrid? comes in, tries to help him out with the decrepify. The wand is there as well, but the silence. Is it going to be long enough? Disruption comes through, and he dies. Oh, that was so close. Matthew with a decrep after a couple of spells have been used, keeping Sumo alive just long enough, but yeah. The two points in Shadow Poison does eventually go down, and the Carlos is still hunting here. Wants a little bit more, and Noob going to be getting the Arcane Rune. Bringing the supports to mid. It is so critical when you have a Storm and a Puck in this game. Whichever mid gets the, the 6 minute rune, the 8 minute rune, they're going to feel so much better. They are such you know, mana intensive heroes. Yeah. Here's your question. But Setting dying the also just a little bit more. Gives you full health and mana in a full bottle, so... That's true, yeah. You should... I think Nygma, they've been trying to use that strategy for a couple years now. It, it hasn't really helped them out. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> Thanks. I hope Twitch chat likes me still after that one. We'll see if it's a base or a Keck W or a what the fuck, you know, we'll see. Yeah, so far, pretty pretty chill inning phase. A big kill onto, uh, onto Smell. Definitely going to feel good for PSG Quest and that noob up for a pretty nice time. He's going to want to make some action happen with his Arcane Rune. Although, a lot of mid laners do talk about uh, Arcane Rune being the farming rune. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't really tend to like, unless you're like a Zeus or something, throwing out an ulti with it is not super prioritized. You don't want to force yeah. something. If anything, I, I like the fact that Noob isn't trying to make moves on that. Like his constant pressure mid will uh, I take the back, he's teeping top. He's making a move a on the map noob. right now. <laughs> yeah, which is hold, hold, hold. Hold? I don't know if I like this. It doesn't this, work though. out, you look great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I like this. Because the point I was trying to make was Noob is an incredibly active mid laner. Like, what made him such a popular player within Western Europe when he was playing DPC was his tendency to just break from mid lane as quick as possible to make those moves on his primal and his snap fire, his puck, his voice for any of these heroes. He's making stuff happen. But in this game, I think if he just sits mid the entire time, Sumo can never come back to mid lane because he's going to get coiled up into one TP rotation and he dies. But him being here, stop Storm from farming. And they are going to try and kill Matthew here. He no, eventually will die. should there be successful. Yeah, the cast and Noob. So, a lot of damage coming out between them. A lot of control as well. Yeah. And that one rotation from Noob just gave Sumo like an extra couple waves mid, right? An extra access to jungle. And I feel like, yes, Puck can rotate, but you kind of want to make that rotation when they're already under the tower. Like, allow that TP to insta-hit coil. I think Noob 
just uh it's not the craziest thing but he probably will just slightly adjust his gameplay just a little bit here you know having quite a nice comeback after the fear of death was installed into him after that first coil like this for example that's a coil moment coil moment right here there's a uh, top side fbz getting beaten on down doom is out onto the nagasara not sure she cares though matthew coming across trying to help out as well and in comes the Storm Spirit, looking onto Omar here. Omar is going to get dropped, but Samel using all of his mana to just get across the map and secure that kill onto Omar. Meanwhile, Naga Siren doesn't look like she's been doomed at all. She looks perfectly healthy. As uh, Dukas comes in, Noob is here around the side. Nine seconds on the coil, though. A little bit awkward here. here we go. Very Let's see. awkward. We'll just be allowed to walk themselves away, and yeah, Puck just kind of walking at them menacingly. Ooh, rah, says Noob as he has nothing. Oh, he does have coil, though. Now. He's got coil back. Yeah. Blessings. They're just running away from him. Easy. Pretty awkward. Oh, Samael. Samael is hit. Oh, he's going to jump this. All right. Trying to go for the kill. Onto the Crystal Maiden. FBZ coming on to help out as well. And Dukalis looks like he might drop here. But Coil comes down. A lot of damage being dealt to the Storm Spirit. He is going to fall for the kill. Can they get the return because onto Noob? Blade. I don't believe so. Witchblade Park just going to do way too much damage towards Kuro. He's killing Kuro as he's farming creep camps. Okay, There's four heroes that's... here. It's looking a little bit awkward right now. I know Kuro's been caught out and Silence is out on him, and it's going to be another one for Noob. Hmm. Oh, they gave it a good shot, but they did not respect the puck. They which played pre-10 minutes. He had Coil, of course. It was kind of the bait the entire time. It's like, ha, ah, he doesn't have it, he doesn't have it, and then just comes off cooldown, and yeah, he's in position. This is the strength of Crystal Maiden against the uh, elusive heroes in the early game. That Frostbite it is pretty devastating. Like once they commit a third Crazy. of their mana pool just to get into the fight, they will just be locked down and stuns will be layered in. Ports now rotate to mid. 2,000 gold lead catapult. They're going to try and take this tower, but Nygma, they're also TPing in as well on, on Kuroki. Ideally, he wants to, to arrow the catapult, get that instant kill, but you can already see they're kind of... Oh, Dakotis. I thought he was going to tank you for the boys. The setup on Samael. Silence is there and he's blown up immediately. Big catch down. by Omar from the from the low ground there, just completely catching Samael off guard and getting them chained back to back kills into the Storm Spirit. One and three on the Samael Storm, a hero which he's famously very consistent on. Yeah, this is my kind of hesitance in kind of liking the Nigma draft in this game, right? It's the fact that they don't protect each other. And Sumo, sure, he needs to be active, but he's going to be running into a coil, a dragon tail, a frostbite. A song disengage because like it's a really hard storm yeah. game until he has an orchid and a bkb and then like all the items above and nowadays you don't really buy orchid you just go witchblade but enigma there's there's no real move to make unless fpz wants to get active Very awkward. with this veil with this doom it is just going to be the phd quest show in all the early aggression it kind of goes back to what i was saying before when the putt in this matchup whoever gets ahead is just going to feel so much better it makes the Olive hero feel so much worse. Noob just kind of trusting in himself to get the advantage in the mid lane. And also trusting in his team to make the correct rotations through and really putting the pressure on him. Now, Miracle, not a Moonlight Shadow upon him. Is it going to matter? Decalus, does he see him? Things are coming out. They might have done, but Miracle senses something's wrong. Oh, so himself close. under the tower. Oh, how's he outmaneuvered them here? If only they had a scan, it was on cooldown, I think, for like another you know, 10 seconds. That would have really simplified that rotation, but yeah, not to be the case, Miracle. Surviving for now. They haven't left the area. The smoke is still running Ooh, on the support. he's moving back they into them. Him. Omar's here, ready with a disruption. Noob is behind. Matthew going to do what he can to try and help out here. The life drain comes through. Is it going to be enough to keep Miracle alive? I don't think so. They're both going to fall. And now Storm, he's caught in the coil as well. Just going to sit here and have to try and... Well, he's got a lightning away very low on mana but i think he's going to escape at the very least the storm spirit survives kuro jumps over the cliff to get himself out as well and uh fbz just not really interested in this engagement at all continuing just to farm up in the top side so yeah they do get what they came for in the end the luna goes down
Good tenacious moves from Quest. Just staying in the area. Knowing where the Luna wants to farm and trusting that, uh, you know, the Luna will eventually show herself again. I think right now in Dota, I'm really enjoying the teams that break from lanes and just position themselves aggressively, like together. The way that PSG Quest is playing right now, they're sacrificing the efficiency of, let's sort of, like, say, like an SD making a stack, right? Just to be able to stand in the enemy jungle. And if a hero walks up, it's a disruption into now Puck's there with a Witchblade or there's a CM with a Frostbite and even DK's joining some of these early engagements. Like I think this type of Dota it is really refreshing to see, especially because you know, teams like Nigma right now, they aren't drafting this, this kind of perfect scrap type lineup, right? Like you, you want to see all heroes have a lot of gold. Like Luna, Storm, Doom, the they mail. all feel great at 15,000. And Sumo, he is getting hunted a little bit here. He's hiding. He kind of knows something's up. And he's just going to TP out, but do they have to, they oh, have to... Oh, they're going to see him. The stun is there. The blink in from Malik. He almost made the perfect read, but Quest, they knew something was up. I mean, I have no idea how they found him there. I'll be honest. How, how do they think to look in that spot? I don't know. They have a, they do have a ward on just above that camp. So potentially based on his like just halving to get there, right? They're going to see a clip of vision of him and... In general, there's not really much map to play for, for Nigma right now. So it's like, what? You've got five camps that Nigma can farm. You've got a one in five chance of finding the correct camp they're currently farming. So the benefit of being so far up the map and they get a kill, they smoke up. Noob going for the Yules as well. Really going quite defensive, not allowing for any opportunity to potentially give away a kill. And they're going to bump into Kroki. They hit the silence and yeah, another very easy kill for them to get. Yeah, it's starting to look a little bit easy for PSG Quest to just run around the map and find whoever they want. FBC is going to be the next target here. Of course, no BKB quite yet for this guy. He's farmed, but he doesn't really have a whole lot to get himself out of this one. Ducalis going to let it go on top of his head. There'll be another kill for PSG Quest. Playing this map very, very well, giving TA2000 all the space he wants and more to farm up. He's going to be heading towards an Orchid. In fact, he's just about to buy the Orchid, so... Yeah, I might see him coming up to some fight soon as well. Another threat on the board. I mean, Smell just can't play this game at the moment. He just needs to play side lanes and... <laughs> you reckon? Yeah, Styles is making the biggest mistake of his career right now. Look at that courier. He was right next to the secret shop, but instead at the mid-tier one tower, look at his career, dragging the corner copier across the map. He was just there. <laughs> what a blunder from tier 2000. He was so inefficient. About 20 seconds, he could have had Orchid by now. Terrible stuff here. I don't know. I'm trying. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> you, you've got to try really hard to criticize PSG Quest in this game so far. They've played very, very well. Very efficient. That's FBZ the type of the uh, only one who's been able to have a game. I feel like if we had to do interviews, and this is like, let's say it's this one sided the entire time, right? It's like tier 2000, mate. What was the hardest thing in this game? And he's like, micro, micro in game one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the male, no, so yeah. scared at this point. It's just a crystal maiden running at him and he's out. He's like, nope, not dealing with that. Knows that there are just look too many bill. threats on the board for him right now. Oh, God. No, he don't look at his bill. Don't look no, at his no, bill. It's so bill. sad. Yeah. It, it's rough. Like, he's got an oblivion stuff, right? Where he was like, hmm, maybe I go Witchblade, maybe I go Orchid. And then because of the state of the game, he's having to go straight for the, the, the BKB and Miracle. Doesn't really take any damage. Two thousands. Yeah, that wasn't a lot. He didn't have mirror image up and maybe he gets jumped himself. He has song though. Yeah, they'll force out the song and now the rotation starts coming through from PSG Quest, but actually they don't really have the heroes to bring to this. Everyone's on the bottom side of the map. The solo puck heading on over to help out, so... One, two, uh, duo gonna link up under oh, this cool. tower. Bottom side quest still waiting for someone to show on the uh, tower down here. Mm, did they just the double wheel. ward that high ground? They did. Quickly, look top, look where Kroki is. Yeah, delete ooh, your shame, delete your shame. Look at him, look at him. There we go, we got him, boys. You don't get away with this. Ooh, good job. He also renamed his Ob Sentry, like he's using the tactics. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Observer. We got him. It has to be we got him. put into the archives. We got him. <laughs> Blink Orchid on the Dragon Knight. Manta Orchid on the Nug Siren. Puck is Puck. Yeah, you can see why Storm's forced into this BKB. Like, it doesn't feel comfortable, it doesn't feel good, like... But he's... Samael's not being stubborn and just saying, like, you know, I have to build my items, like, he's saying... Mm -hmm. There's yeah. more value for me to just stop and... pull out a BKB. I don't know if his star gives the right stats, you know? <laughs> Pushing Already, the blow a bit. You, 
You can see that PSG Quest is respecting that, uh, that inevitable early timing. FPZ though, currently positioned oh, in. Oh, he's got his BKB coming everyone. on the courier right now, but I don't think he's going to get a chance to use it. He does get a chance to use it. All right, fair enough. Now, looking for the turnaround. They find your cast on the sidelines, FPZ. I mean, he's got to be tempted to get in to try and get a Doom off here, but it's just too dangerous with a healthy on, so Dikaz is going to get away. They can't even ring down the Crystal Maiden under their Tier 2. Pretty brutal. Quest continuing to survive. And if we see the optimization of all of PSG Quest right now, it's really nice for the type of aggression they're bringing to the game. You've got the Yules on the Puck, you've got the Glimmer Cape on the SD, Pavise going Solar Crest on Crystal Maiden. I mean, they have so many cheap items that if the scenario that Nigma finds a, a fight, right, they're, they're going to be able to enable each other. Like during the pre show, we were saying, oh, I was saying, I was like, I'm hyping up their, their, their small things they're doing in a team fight. There's no greediness happening here. There's no SD going for an A for lens. There's no Crystal Maiden going for like a drum. They really are itemizing for, let's win our lanes. Let's make sure we're ready for it. And they're grouping again top. Miracle leading the charge. He has a Manta. He could be, is still on cooldown for the Doom. They're hoping to find he something. Doesn't. Gonna meet them through the portal. Miracle, what can he do? Hans out onto the Moran style of this fight. They just want to bring down Kuro as quickly as possible. Moonlight Shadow already came out though. Doom in the back lines. Managing to find out tier 2000. The rest of the team, where are they to help out? Samael is just not in this engagement at all. He's on the other side of the map trying to farm his BKB. Luna gonna get healed up by the life train from the Pugna. Ducalit's gonna use a freezing field on top of their heads, orc it out onto Pugna, stop the heal, and take him down. Omar does die in the back lines. FBZ finally finished the job as Roshan comes running through the fight as well. He wants a bit of this action. FBZ. Trying to escape here. He's got a BKB just back off cooldown. He does want to go for that BKB TP out, and that might just have to be the case. Although, nice little arrow coming down onto Jukalis. BKB oh. TP. He's gone. The Doom BKB has been used twice just to run away from the fight. And the Nigma Galaxy, that, that attempt of aggression was somewhat wild from them right there. They're smoking to the most northern part of the map, away from their Storm Spirit, who is their primary initiator. The Doom had BKB on cooldown. They find a Naga Siren. But there's already all the defensive tools in place to keep him alive. Yes, they connect on Doom, but there's no miracle in place to, to maybe hit the, the Eclipse. It's only also only one point in it as well. Like Everything that could have gone bad for that aggression went bad for Nygma. It just it felt so forced. Like, it did. Maybe if they had an item each, that's a good fight. But with how far they're behind, it kind of feels like they need to respect the fact that they are just so underfarmed wait for all their timings to sync up and make one really good team play like making these desperation yeah. plays as four it just further sets them behind as psg quest continue and to grow their lead is it, is it uncomfortable to to turn up to a fight as a position one when your position two is still looking to just farm up and hit the next timing because it felt uncomfortable yeah of course like, miracle getting jumped up he doesn't have man for five seconds and you can hear uh, the puck this could be bad in. coil is out he's trying to wait on the high ground in comes the storm spirit trying to help out and absorb it of the aggression once again life drain coming through onto miracle so male got to be careful a lot of science is coming out onto him right now along with that greasing field just continuously coming out onto them they just don't seem to be able to stop this crystal maiden finally they bring it down so male staying on top of omar here and does bring him down now looking over towards ducalis as well that's gonna be the next target here for psg quest as they've taken down three on on the side of Nigma Galaxy. Double kill for some male. Finishes the Witchblade and finds a huge fight to get back into the game with, but they did still lose their Luna. Everything we were just praising PSG Quest for, they kind of did a little bit of the opposite, right? Like they're the, now it's their turn to take the fight without their carry. It's their turn to go aggressive and try and go for a pick when they're not really in position. And sure, Nigma Galaxy, they they get whatever they can from it. Sumo's gonna be very happy getting a double kill, progress his way to the BKB. But Matthew, that entire fight, he's life draining up Miracle. He puts, he doesn't get enough heal on the Luna whilst also losing his own life. And then just one Crystal Nova just kills both of them. It was, oh. If both of those heroes survived, then that's an incredible fight. But the fact that your Luna does die really just sours that, that, that moment for them. At uh, this stage of the game for Enigma, I think any kills are going to feel good because they have been so absent from the fights in the, in the previous couple of goes. Like a yeah. siren already. About oof, a thousand gold away from a heart. Gonna be a potentially like a 26 minute heart manta orchid on this Naga siren. We already said that there's a couple damage issues for Nigma Galaxy. A lot of the itemization is very defensive right now. Triple BKB is on the menu for them. That isn't gonna be what you need to, to kill off this hero. You know, I'm gonna get a tormentor. 
Matthews will, yeah, will pick it up. I'll be, you know, somewhat nice being able to right. cut off the illusions. Yeah, that's a really good one, actually, isn't it? Yeah, in this particular matchup. I'd be happy for that. Still, PSG Quest. 8k gold advantage. And down to 7k, but nevertheless, a lot of gold in their pockets. BKB finished on the DK as well for the next engagement, so control for Malik going to be much, much harder. Yeah, okay, soon she is not do. Oh, Miracle, not again. They jump him in the middle lane. Luna needs some help. Not going to find it. Oh, the train comes through for just a second, but immediate coil comes out onto Pugna, and now they want to bring down Matthew as well. And Snare, an Orchid from the sidelines, seals the Pugna's life. And it's going to be two clean pickups for PSG Quest in the middle lane. He's so aggressive on his farming. Like, top lane, he's like past his dead tier one tower, pushing out. He then goes to mid tier one with his real hero to also push out again. And I don't think Miracle is really respecting the fact that at any minute, a DK or a Puck can just appear from the shadows and initiate a fight on you. Yeah. He is. With the... oh, 800 got away from BKB, that will allow him to at least play in that area with a little bit more confidence, but. A couple of deaths from Miracle, just sure. You could argue, oh, but he needs to go for the farm, but he has the illusions. I think he needs to be a little Isn't bit this safer. That's what the Manta's for, yeah. Yeah, exactly. PSG Quest aren't going to complain when they just keep finding a Luna barreling it down lanes. They're obviously going to go for the kill every single time, even if they aren't in position like two fights ago. But we are 40 gold away from Smell having a BKB. Ooh. He can finally freely play the game and do what he wants in the fights, potentially. Yeah. Of course, he did go back for the Witchblade. He didn't just go Oblivion yeah. BKB. That would have been an absolute despair build. Yes, I'm, I'm very glad that uh, he was able to greed out a little bit and get the Witchblade. Of course, that did mean he couldn't really turn up for the last couple of fights. And now, Roshan is being attempted by the Dire. ESG Quest Stand in the pit well. right now. They are aware. Yeah, pretty breakneck. Yeah, I believe it's one of those scans just to confirm they're doing Roshan, confirm that you can be a little bit greedy with your farm at the moment, get on some mm -hmm. lanes and... Yeah. Um, Mass twin gate usage. They... Yeah, I was wondering if they scanned this one out as well. I, I think the Galaxy did pop a scan, or maybe that was a uh, PSG quest scan. I didn't quite get to see it, but... Somebody's scanning with a twin gate, just to make sure All it right. was uh, safe. Like, Nygma is relatively strong if you just ignore the Aegis concept, right? Triple BKB and play for all cores, Shivas, and they have the recipe to, to win a fight. They just need to try and navigate the fact that it's Naga Siren. If you jump on her, you're probably going to lose it, as she has two lives in her own 2800 HP with yeah. a soul. But I mean, you're not jumping a heart Naga Siren anyway, and she's not doing quite enough damage to be like, we must kill her to win a fight, so... It's all on FBZ and uh, Sumel. If you can get a good Doom on, let's say, the DK or the Puck, if the Storm can then jump the, the Shadow Demon to prevent that save, that will really yeah. open up the fight to, to create that numbers advantage. Of course, Naga Siren will be the raid boss of the fight. If she tanks any of the big spells, then I'm sure PSG Quest will thoroughly enjoy it. And look at Tier 2000 just running behind, trying to force out that BKB. BKB going to be forced here. Yeah, they need to turn this into a fight right now. And that's exactly what we're going to try and do. Doom finds a backline, but immediately gets stunned up by Malik. Doesn't get his Doom off here. And now he's going to get the Demonic Purge thrown out onto him. Going for the TP out. Life drain from downtown from Matthew. Going to keep him alive. He does escape. Ooh, Nigma Galaxy. It's getting a little bit spicy for them as Miracle runs up to the top side, but he might just about get seen by a Dire Ward here and yeah, immediately ping out by Noob. Oh no. He has BKB TP. Yeah, it's going to have to be used by the looks of it. He's trying to be greedy. Wait for an opportunity to escape and... Noob is... Ooh. Why are they not chasing this one super close? Maybe he's just trying to like bait the Lunar into a false sense of security. He wants to try and Stick around and try and get another man to... Okay, there he gets out. Nice moves from Miracle. Nigma, though, gets him to safety. Three BKBs used on Doom. Each one of them to retreat. It's not what you really want to see from this item timing. Like, often to give you confidence. And it does boil down to the fact that... Where is the protection for that Doom? When you throw it onto someone, what stops them from just running away? You can't rely on a Kuroki Arrow in this game. There are... Plenty of illusions and noise in the fight to soak it up. And Storm Spirit, he got jumped by the Naga at the start of that engagement. So he had to BKB just to survive that initiation. And as I speak about Doomhammer, oh. a bit of a rough game. He is going to be sent back to base. Yep. 
the Fountain Express. He gets on board and flies back home. BKB still on cooldown there for another 22 seconds. A very nice catch for uh, PSG Quest. Just uh, they continue to build the pressure. And now, real TO2000 just on the high ground at the moment. Hey guys, do you want to defend I your love buildings? This. <laughs> the team is nowhere nearby. T2000 is completely alone at the moment. Team getting nearby now. Ducars are nowhere going. Wait, what, what is that? why is that carry on their high ground? We should probably be over there. And they do. He's still on butterfly. Like, how did you kill this guy? Yeah, I I think killing da 2000 is something to think about maybe in, in 20 minutes time. If your ancient is still in one piece. Unobliterated. Surely now Doom's alive, they defend this. Maybe they're just not aware. Maybe they're just thinking about other things right now. <laughs> uh, game two, maybe. <laughs> too soon, too soon. It no, kind of feels like that, to be fair, though. It's a little it, tough. It's yeah. not a polarizing statement. I'm pretty sure 90% of Twitch chat is also kind of feeling that right now. 99% uh, on uh, on Dota Plus, so... Ooh, damn! That's 99% pre-30 minutes. Impressive yep. stuff, PSG Quest. Storm. Says hi to the Naga Siren. Naga Siren just kind of says hi back. Matthew is going to be able to deal with these illusions and rectify the real tier 2000. But what, what's Steam Galaxy waiting for? What, what, what are they trying to grab on the map right now? Because Miracle's nowhere near close to any sort of item. Oh, sorry, uh, phylactery. They're doing anything in their power, power to wait out the Aegis, then hopefully find initiation. I think Doom getting a Blink Dagger, if they can just find the Naga, hit the Doom on her, and just hope for the best, it pretty much feels like. It doesn't sound like an amazing plan, Tigov. It isn't an amazing plan. They're not in a very amazing position. I see. They are victim to PSG Quest playing as whatever tempo they want to play. Like they could send illusions to chip down high ground and force Matthew to always be in base to kill them off. They could wait out for another Aegis and secure their game with some 25, 30,000 gold lead. It's really up to them on how they want to approach this. Of course, FBZ, if he steps up like this again, if he has to use his BKB defensively, that will just give PSG Quest free entry to another engagement. Noob with the end of his rune has a gem as well, so shouldn't really be surprised by any any jumps. It's going to see the sentry now. They need to punish this some way, somehow, but the rest of the quest coming on through, looking to follow up on this, and Kuro's going to be left for dead on the back lines. FBZ going to jump in, looking for TH2000, not going to find him, go for the TP out, and once again, the BKB TP maneuver from FBZ. It's been flawless so far this game, let's be real. It's been some of the defense, best defensive BKB usage I've seen in a long time, just time and time again. This man doesn't want to die. Is that really what you want to be say? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Takes a trip back for to base, comes back in, and yeah, this game is just over. Full. It's super over. They've tried to make two or three aggressive moves. They failed, and in doing so, PSG Quest have just casually farmed up to being near unkillable. They're going to smoke up. They're going to give it one last try as PSG Quest move for the Mega Creeps. Will they find the initiation? The blink is available for FBC. Can he find that doom? No BKB oh, on the dead. Storm Spirit. He is just going to get bought down here eventually. Down he drops. Miracle just trying to deal with these illusions to start the fight. Now moves towards different targets, but out comes the song. And now Luna and Pugna held still as they turn around to deal with the Doom. He does get taken out. No chance of survival here. Barracks all taken. Mega Creeps and GG. Game number one, it goes comfortably to PSG Quest as they take down Nick Galaxy in a clinical game one here. Once again, the TA2000 Naga Siren, it just doesn't get contested. Yeah, um, I think if you're Nick Galaxy moving into the next games, you're going to have to think of a key couple things, right? It's the, the TA2000 Naga.